NASA of the 20th century. Yes, that is the most powerful aerospace agency we have ever known. The one that helped humanity touch the moon for the first time in 1969. However, at this very moment, NASA is only a shadow of its former self. The moon, a place they once reached, has now become a more challenging target for them. Once again, NASA's Artemis mission is potentially facing delays until 2027 instead of the previous outlined schedule of 2025, according to recent information disclosed by the United States Government Accountability Office, or GAO. And this is not the first time the Artemis program has been reminded by GAO, as they have previously criticized NASA's organizational system, management, and the costs of the billion-dollar SLS rocket. Even this time, they blame SpaceX and Axiom as major vulnerabilities and long-term challenges for Artemis. So, is it really SpaceX and Axiom that are causing delays for Artemis? Will NASA decide to postpone the Artemis mission for a few more years? Stay tuned as we dive into this episode of Alpha Tech. NASA's ambitious Artemis program gave a shot in the arm for space exploration with its mission to put humans back on the moon. But now seems like the space agency's Artemis 3 mission, which will land astronauts on the moon, will not happen at least until 2027. A new report warns of significant delays to the Artemis 3 mission, the result of two key contractors, SpaceX and Axiom Space, not being able to deliver the goods on time. The latest GAO report, published November 30th, highlights major hurdles in the development of key components for NASA's Artemis 3 mission, including SpaceX's lunar lander and Axiom Space's moon suits. Delays, technical challenges, and an ambitious schedule may lead to a significant postponement of the mission, potentially impacting NASA's lunar exploration timeline, the GAO warned. Should these challenges persist, and if these projects adhere to previous NASA development timelines, the Artemis III mission is unlikely to happen before 2027, according to the report. This would result in a considerable gap between missions, as Artemis II, a crewed journey around the moon, is scheduled for November 2024. The delay would also likely push back subsequent Artemis missions, with Artemis IV currently planned for 2028, followed by Artemis V through VII expected to transpire annually starting in 2029. SpaceX is developing Starship, the upper stage of which will serve as the human landing system for Artemis III, transporting two astronauts to the lunar surface for a one-week stay. This contract, signed in 2021, is worth $2.9 billion. A second SpaceX contract for a second lander was signed in 2022, worth $1.15 billion. However, the GAO report highlights delays in testing the revolutionary mega rocket, which could result in cascading schedule setbacks. The report points to a significant amount of complicated work that remains undone, leading to the grim conclusion that the first crewed lunar landing since the Apollo 17 mission in 1972 is unlikely to happen within the 2025 target. As the GAO points out, SpaceX's goal of developing and launching in 79 months, 13 months quicker than NASA's average project timeline, presents a formidable challenge given the complexity of human spaceflight. If the project adheres to the typical NASA timeline, Artemis III is more likely to take place in early 2027, as opposed to the current and overly optimistic schedule, the GAO concluded. The GAO says that as of September 2023, Starship experienced delays in eight of 13 key milestone events, with each setback adding several months to the overall schedule. Starship's inaugural flight test, which happened on April 20th, was itself delayed by seven months. Due to issues at the launch pad, such as the lack of protective infrastructure and in-flight irregularities, namely a malfunctioning self-destruct sequence, the two-stage rocket faced a considerable delay, with SpaceX finally conducting its second launch November 18th. The latest report from the GAO released this week does not include the second test in its evaluation. However, it's unlikely that including this test would have changed any of the report's conclusions. A considerable amount of complex Starship-related work still needs to be done in advance of Artemis III, including developing the ability to store and transfer propellant while in orbit. As a critical aspect of SpaceX's plan for landing astronauts on the moon for Artemis III is launching multiple tankers that will transfer propellant to a depot in space before transferring that propellant to the human landing system, the report stated. At the same time, and as the GAO points out, NASA has noted limited progress in developing the necessary technologies for this aspect of the plan. To be honest, the GAO's analysis is entirely justified. We can't refute that. The products that SpaceX has to deliver for the Artemis mission are indeed tied to the delays of IFT-1 and IFT-2. However, this delay is not solely SpaceX's burden. 
SpaceX initiated grasshopper flights in 2012 and landed by the end of 2015. Since then, they have landed over 100 booster rockets. The fact that they have four more spacecraft and booster rockets nearly ready to operate but have only launched twice this year shows the strict regulations of some government agencies have slowed them down to some extent. Furthermore, considering the delays, NASA's moon rocket, the Space Launch System, SLS, backed by substantial funding and an established development plan, still grapples with frustrating setbacks and numerous technical issues. Originally planned for late 2016, the uncrewed first flight of SLS slipped more than 26 times in almost six years. In general, the costly SLS of America's leading aviation agency has to endure such delays let alone a larger, more powerful rocket owned by a private company. On the other hand, perhaps 2027 or even 2030 seems like a more realistic time frame than we think. Taking a few people to the moon within a few days at a cost of billions is one thing. Owning dreamlike spaceships capable of transporting cargo and crews anywhere within the solar system with the ability to refuel in orbit, mass-produced at spaceports as if they were cargo ships, is another. The year 2027 might be truly fantastic regular access in an airplane-like fashion not only to lower Earth orbit, but also to the moon via giant shuttles that can be reused and refueled in orbit. Establishing a long-term base on the moon, mining and utilizing resources from a celestial body, perhaps coinciding with the mass production of the first in-orbit and return pharmaceuticals, 3D-printed organs, and fiber optics. We will reach a psychological threshold where people no longer see Earth as the center of the universe there will be a level of skepticism about the concept of a large-scale settlement or resource harvesting in space because costs will decrease and investments will flow in. After that, our arrival at small asteroids and planets near Earth or even Mars will just be a matter of time. In addition to outlining the tasks for SpaceX, the GAO also brings attention to another crucial factor contributing significantly to the potential delays for the moon mission, the moon suit. Axiom Space, responsible for developing Artemis III moon suits, also faces design challenges, specifically the absence of an emergency life support system in NASA's original design for the Artemis III mission. NASA provided Axiom with its design plans, but the initial design lacked the necessary minimum emergency life support required for the Artemis III mission. As the GAO report warns, Axiom may need to rearrange parts of the suit to accommodate a larger oxygen tank. However, if that proves unfeasible, a complete redesign might be necessary, potentially causing delays in its delivery for the mission. Under the $228.5 million contract signed in 2022, Axiom is tasked with designing, building, and testing the spacesuits ahead of Artemis III. If NASA officially postpones the launch date of Artemis III to 2027, it would be more than a year earlier than the initial goal of 2028. The Trump administration in 2019 set the timeline for 2024, a target NASA eventually pushed beyond the current estimated launch in December 2025. However, even as NASA adapts to working with various private contractors who often present overly optimistic timelines, NASA must approach these forecasts with a healthy dose of skepticism and adjust its schedules accordingly. Sure, this approach may give the impression of slow progress, but it's a realistic response to the complexities of such projects. Should public impatience arise, NASA could rightly point to constraints like congressional underfunding. Ultimately, ambitious technological endeavors typically entail significant delays in development, a fact that both NASA and its partners seem reticent to accept. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.